Hi, everyone. I'm Scott Harmon, Executive Director of Dynamites. Thank you so much for participating in the 2021 Shootathon. And now I'm going to be helping you to know how to create your own individual fundraising pages. So, first of all, getting registered. If you go to the main Shootathon page, you'll see in the upper right corner the register button. Or if you're using a phone and you click on the three lines to bring up the menu, you should see register immediately at the top of your menu. If you register that way, you'll be given that opportunity to join a team via the registration process. Most of you have a specific link for your hockey team, hopefully shared by your managers. And so you can simply follow that link directly to your team. Again, if you're on the home page, you can search your team. And if I start typing in teams names, list will come up. So we see a great number of Maple Grove teams, for example. I'm going to go ahead and join a demo team that I created. The Dynamite's demo team, demonstration team. So this is what a team page without any editing looks like. If I scroll down just a little bit, I find join the team. So I'm going to join the team and I'm going to sign up. I happen to have already used this software before and therefore I already have an account. So it's going to ask me to register. <clears throat> and uh, go ahead and put my own name in there. So basic registration, no problem. We're just going to be um, I already have my information preset and I'm on the team. Registration complete, set up your page. So now I'm on my page. Now, anytime that I go to um, log in, I'll see this in the menu that I can view my page or manage my page. I'm currently on the manage my page uh, setting right now. And it gives me a quick tour, which I recommend everybody take. So here's what my page looks like. Right now, it's got a picture of my son, as it just so happens. And I've got a description that is from the default description that everybody has, whether you, if you don't add any information, it will just have the default information. Um, we're encouraging everyone to have a picture, a personal description, and a call to action. So I'm going to go to manage my page. And now I've got my menu here. So I'm going to personalize my page. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a personal description in here. And I've been involved for a really long time. So I'm able to kind of say that about myself. So this is true to me. And your description should be true to you. I got involved with Dynamites 20 years ago. There have been so many amazing young people that have grown up in Dynamites, et cetera, et cetera. And you should be able to put something personal, even if this is your first time knowing about Dynamites. It's easy just to be able to say, I love hockey. I've been playing since I was five years old. And supporting Dynamites is, means that we're going to be providing opportunities to kids from all backgrounds to get to play hockey. And I want to make sure that my neighbors at Dynamites get to play. I've also added a call to action in my description which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. And I'm gonna click save, very simple. So that's what's on my page now. You can change your profile picture by clicking edit profile right under your picture. So if we go back to view my page, and here's my picture. If I click edit profile, I can change my picture right here. You can add other photos by clicking manage my page. So if we go back, and click manage my page all right and pictures help your page to be personal to you so if you've ever played with dynamites or interacted in some way then pictures of you with dynamites are great if not pictures of you playing hockey are great too your description should say what you're trying to achieve and why it should establish your connection to dynamites you might say i love hockey and i hope that everyone can play so I'm supporting Dynamites with my team's shoot-a-thon. And if you have a story to tell, we'd love to hear it. Make it personal to you. 
call to action. Be creative with this. Tell people what you want them to do to help you meet your goal. For example, you might say, please consider a gift of $150 or $25. Feel free to have fun with your call to action. You could say that you're going to do something special for gifts of a certain amount. So here are some ideas. You might say, I'll send a handwritten thank you card to every giver. So if you do that, I guarantee your grandparents are going to love that. If you actually send a handwritten thank you, that's a great call to action. If you give, I will send a thank you. Um, you can say that you'll mention all your donors on social media. Or you could say, I'll invite my givers to a virtual thank you session or live stream on social media. You could say, I'll run backward for 400 meters if I raise $1,000. Or I'll do one push-up for every $10 a race. That's, I think, what I put in mind here in my description. I said that I would, um, I would do push-ups. Here's right here. I'll do one push-up for every dollar I raise up to $1,000. So I'm willing basically to do 1,000 push-ups. Um, you don't have to do that. I will say in the past, some people have done calls to action that were too difficult to complete. So be realistic about what you, what you say that you're going to do. Um, you could do something silly, like I'll take a pie in the face for every $100 gift. We had somebody once who was afraid of spiders said, if I raise $1,000, I'll hold a spider in my hand. So feel free to email me if you have any questions or need help getting your page started, and we're happy to help. And we're also here if you have any technical problems or questions with the site. So go ahead and look at other people's pages for ideas as well. Keep having fun and keep training for hockey and go make your pages look great.